mentioning it is Kids Week here at Good Morning Idaho. And we're on your kids' side this morning talking about Space Days. This is one of the many fun things that's coming up this week in the area for them. Space Days, of course, is going on at the Discovery Center of Idaho. And they've got something for kids and, and for your parents, kids, don't worry. And here with us this morning are Doug Lamboth and retired astronaut Wendy Lawrence. So a special treat for us, a special treat for anyone who's a big space fan. We appreciate both of you being here with us this morning. And uh, first of all, Doug, just as we talk about Space Days, tell us a little bit about the theme that's going on this year in 2012. Yeah, uh, we have a theme every year for Space Days. This will be our sixth annual Space Days. Uh, the theme for this year is the privatization of space travel. Which we know, of course, is big in the country right now because of the retiring of the shuttle program by NASA. And so it's kind of going outsourcing to, to private companies, right? Absolutely, and it's just actually quite amazing what's going on in the background that really isn't making the news uh, within the private sector. And uh, Wendy has a lot of really good information on that. And, and Wendy, uh, it really is a pleasure to speak to someone who has been up to the International Space Station. How many times have you been in space or on various space missions? I had the opportunity to fly on the space shuttle four times. Wow. And my last flight was to the International Space Station. How long were you up there? We were docked there for about eight days. Overall, the mission was about 14 days long. Wow, and, and you just shared uh, some of your experiences, I understand. Yesterday, Space Days has been going on all week um, with, with the people there. Now, as a retired astronaut, even though um, you're not going up on the shuttle missions or anything anymore, to you, why is it important to be involved in something like Space Days as this continues on? Well, I think it's part of the national outreach effort to get young kids interested in math, science, and engineering, and you know, the NASA has not gone away. The space program is still very active, the human spaceflight program. NASA's building a replacement spacecraft called the Orion. NASA's working with commercial companies like SpaceX to give them an opportunity to provide services to the government by delivering supplies to and from the space station and eventually astronauts. So I tell the young kids, and I told them this specifically yesterday, if they want the opportunity to fly in space, they're going to have more opportunities than I did when I was their age. So I think there's still going to be a very vibrant space program for them. Still space travel, just perhaps different than it's been I done in the past. And it's always been evolving ever since it started anyway. Well, it's always involved commercial companies. That's important for people to remember that. NASA never from the very beginning built its own yeah. spacecraft. It always worked with commercial companies, recently Boeing, Lockheed Martin, in the early days of the program, companies like North American or Rockwell. So NASA's always worked hand in hand with its commercial contractors. So it'll be neat for kids especially to get out to space days, kind of see what the future holds for space travel because it's not like it has been in the past, but it's definitely still there. It has not gone away like That's you said. That's correct. So Doug, let's talk quickly about some of the events sure. going on uh, that, that kids especially might grasp onto. One of the things that I noticed and I looked at the schedule was the uh, model rocket demonstrations. Yeah, model rocket demonstrations have become a favorite every year and uh, these are uh, you know the the model rockets that you build and you mm -hmm. go buy the little motors for them they call them and you can make uh, you know rockets from uh, this big with little motors in them to really really large and rockets. The demonstrations I understand are free. They are free. Outside their They're lawn, out on right? our lawn and uh, and there's yeah. uh, airplane to the moon, uh, space travel show and tell, just a, a couple other things. That yeah, are yeah. In fact, one of the things I think is uh, most interesting is the BSU microgravity program, uh, something that was uh, helped to be started at BSU by uh, Barbara Morgan. And they have two teams every year of students that go down to NASA and get to go on the parabolic flights where they experience weightlessness and they do Something projects. I'd love to do as a they experience weightlessness. Yeah, yeah. Yes. and they have uh, projects that they take on these planes with them to uh, test out and test their theories. Wow. And, they, and they come and talk about those. And so a lot of stuff to keep kids involved, but uh, adults engaged as well. There's going to be a lot of things that yeah, maybe some for the adults that they'll understand more, but definitely those demonstrations that are eye-catching for the little ones out there, right? So Space Day is going on through Saturday, and we put some of those schedules uh, up on your screen for you as well. And I understand there's uh, the, the Discovery Center website. They can head there as well. Is that yeah. DC Idaho? DCIdaho.org. And you can find the whole schedule of events there. There's just a few of them going on. Be sure to head out there. You've got lots of opportunities. A great time to celebrate Kids Week. All right.